Greetings everyone. Welcome to Asia L Artists and Body Care. For this video, I'm going to share with you a wonderful DIY for a heavenly bath soak. Without any further delay, let's get into what you came here for. The ingredients required for this bath soak are probably some things you already have. It's uh, equal parts Epsom salts, baking soda, pink Himalayan sea salt, and some organic colloidal oatmeal. I will also add some sweet almond oil, and for the fragrance, it is a combination of orange essential oil with five-fold essential oil and some vanilla cream fragrance oil. I will also add some dried botanicals for a nice aesthetic effect. So once your ingredients are laid out and ready to go, the first step is to take a few of the dried flowers. In this case, I'm using marigolds and rosebuds. So I'm just removing some of the dried petals from each of the flowers and I'm going to crush them together. Not trying to make a really fine powder, but just enough where there's little specks of color in the bath soak. And this is a great way to release the fragrance from the flowers. And of course, it just looks very pretty. After you've crushed your botanicals to your liking, you can absolutely create your bath soak right now by combining all of your ingredients. But what I like to do is take all of my dry ingredients, excluding the botanicals, and I like to put it in my dry container for my Vitamix and create a powder. For this video, all of my dry ingredients are about three-fourths of a cup and you can actually make more or less of this depending on how much bath soap you need. Once I'm satisfied with the texture of my dry ingredients, I transfer it to a mixing bowl and then I add my dried botanicals and I mix it in until it is evenly dispersed. Next, I gradually incorporate the sweet almond oil into the bath soap. And I do this slowly because I don't want my bath soap to feel too oily or damp feeling or even sticky. Too much oil can definitely do that. Also, keep in mind you can absolutely customize this bath soap. You can add your favorite botanicals, your own skin safe fragrance, and you can actually add some variations of milk powders. Thank you. 
Next, I'm going to slowly add in the fragrance oil. Too little and I don't get the aromatherapeutic benefits of the bath soap and too much can just be a bit too overpowering. And the fragrance description I would say is sort of like a creamsicle ice cream, you know, that orange and vanilla creamsicle, classic creamsicle ice cream you get from the ice cream truck. It smells like that, but probably about five times better. To break up any additional lumps caused by the fragrance oil and the sweet almond oil, I'm going to take my whisk attachment from my stick blender and break up those additional lumps and also just make sure everything is just evenly mixed throughout the bath soak. When I'm happy with the look, the consistency, and the fragrance of the bath soap, I transfer it to a mason jar for storage. This is a great present to present to somebody, but most importantly, it's a great thing to do for yourself. So I transfer it to a mason jar, and I'm probably going to use this tonight because I deserve it. As you can see, I'm not being super neat about scooping this bath soap into the mason jar, but I also figured it would be a great time to get some cool Instagram pictures. Here's a look at my heavenly bath soak after I packed it into a mason jar. And for the grand finale, I'm going to show you what this bath soak looks like when it is dispersed in water. If you enjoyed this DIY, please give this video a thumbs up. Thank you all so much for watching. I so appreciate it. And don't forget to try this. Pamper yourself. You deserve it. Thank you so much for watching. Have a fantastic day, everyone. I'll see you soon.